How to update service accounts for Max Pro NVR. As an added security protection, some IT security policies held by different companies require that all Windows account passwords expire after a certain amount of time. In this video, we will demonstrate the troubleshooting steps if this was unexpected, as well as show you how to update the service account passwords to keep Max Pro functioning as it should. You may find that after a reboot of a Max Pro in VR, you can no longer log into the software. The first thing to do is check the status of the background services that Max Pro uses to keep the system functional. Open Windows Services and sort the columns by Log On As so that you can group the Max Pro services together. In this example, you can see that after this machine was rebooted, although all of the services this machine are using are set to automatically start, none of them are running. Upon attempting to start the Neo Storage server, for example, we're presented with the error 1068, the dependency service or group failed to start. Depending on which service you're attempting to start and the environment you're working in, this error will either be 1067 or 1068. To verify what this error means, open the Windows Event Viewer, click on Windows Logs, and then System Logs. Notice, right away, I have an error related to Service Control Manager, and checking the details at the bottom reveals that this error was caused because the credentials used to start and run the service is invalid. Verify the Windows username and password for the user that is running the services, either by logging into Windows as a test, updating the password in local users and groups, or by working with the administration team who handles the server to find the updated information. Once you have confirmed the credentials for the user that should be running the background services for Max Pro, open services again, and starting with Trinity Server Service, right click and go to Properties. Then click on the Log On tab, update the username if necessary and the password, then click Apply and OK. Then back at the Services list page, right click on Trinity Server and start it. As long as the service starts and shows running as it should, you'll now need to go through the remaining Neo and Trinity services that use a Windows user to authenticate and update their credentials as well. Once all of the services have been updated and started, open Max Pro NVR and ensure that you have a connection and cameras are populating and recording. If this password change was not intentional, and the NVR is part of a work group, you can right click on the start menu and go to computer management, click on users and groups, users, then right click on the service user and go to properties. Ensure that the box is checked for password never expires, then click apply and OK. To avoid interruptions in recording, we recommend either excluding the service user from password expiry or ensuring that the password is updated using the method shown here immediately following a required password update of the user. Explore our trainings and discover your potential. Go to HoneywellDiscoverTraining.com.